the voice of God was originally designed for voiceover work. This is it right here. It fits in a 500 series lunchbox format. Uh, what it does for you is it basically puts a very narrow peak, that uh, very high Q peak that sweep, you sweep between 20 to 200 hertz. Everything below the peak is wiped out at 24 dB per octave. So what it allows you to do is find that chest resonance frequency of the person, the voiceover artist or singer. It's very good on female singers when they hit the notes but don't have any oomph. But um, the beauty of it is that, that like when you have a proximity effect on a microphone, you actually lose intelligibility. You end up getting up on that mic and it might sound big, but it actually brings all that bottom end up and it actually is not as tight. Yeah. The beauty of this is as you find that chest resonance, everything below that point is wiped out. So you, you pull out all the mud that's in there at the same time. But uh, the product ended up uh, with voiceover artists love it, but then I found that when you heard, listen to it on a kick drum or a tom tom or on a, um, or on a bass guitar, you could, a well, bass guitar, especially when you're mixing, you could actually place it like uh, tuning right it, it right where you want it in the bass spectrum. So on a, on a kick drum, it sounds like you're tightening or loosening the pegs. On a tom tom, it that sounds like you're tightening or loosening the pegs. And then in a mix when you have it, when you have all these different low end instruments in there, it allows them to keep separate and not be stepping on top of each other. So, so you can have it so you can really discern the tonal differences between the instruments. Awesome. It's, uh, and it's the, only available in a lunchbox format? At right the now? moment it's only in a lunchbox format, but it will be available in what's called the iVOG, an independent VOG, which will be in oh, the same format as uh, uh, all the other little app stuff, which is... Uh, yeah, like in these little guys. Yeah, these little guys. But, um, oh, there's That's your first product, right? No, phase, no, no, I'm, you know, I go back to 1984, there's okay. a lot of Little Labs products. <laughs> I used to work for, uh, bought Clear Mountain, Little Labs, and yeah. A&M, and there's, uh, there was quite a few stuff out there. Oh, the beauty of it is, compared to using, like, a parametric EQ, or, or something else that could get similar, but not quite the same results, is one of the beauties of the VOG, v, VOG is super hi-fi, because it only goes through a single amplifier and one cap makes it, this process occur. It's kind of a freaky circuit, but it, it, it's very hi-fi. In fact, it's so hi-fi, even people doing orchestras use it because everything above that peak is totally flat. And the orchestra people use it to bring out the timpani because quite often the timpani is set if they're using stereo miking for the whole orchestra, the timpani is usually in the back of the room. This allows them to bring the timpani into the mix without messing with the levels of anything else. But so Little Labs VOG and its list price is 420 US dollars. Thanks a lot. No problem.